Hi there, Steve Coffin here, and today I'm going to talk about the most important thing in language learning, and that is enjoyment. Enjoyment is not only the goal of language learning, enjoyment is how you manage to succeed in language learning. And I'm going to talk about the five stages of enjoyment. Because after all, as we go through learning the language, we are in different stages of either we're beginning the language or we're starting to get a hold of the language, and there are different kinds of enjoyment, at least that's how I experience language learning. So, when we begin the first stage, when we're starting to discover the language, at first it's all noise, but somehow, as if by magic, what was noise becomes words. Uh, you start to be able to read a little bit, even though you listen many, many times and keep on missing the same parts of what you're listening to, and, and you look up words, let's say, on link and you review them and you listen again and but it's exciting it's it's that excitement of discovering something new and and that's in the first stage of learning a language that kind of maintains me because so much of it is is not meaning it's it's unclear and and it, it just seems so strange at first and particularly when I was learning Persian and Arabic with different writing systems it's so difficult at first. However, there's that enjoyment, that excitement of, of sort of, I'm embarking on something new. I'm going to learn this, what to me is an exotic language. And, and I find that initial period very enjoyable. And so there is that first period of enjoyment of discovering something new. But then after a while, we get tired of listening to the same stuff over and over again. There's a lot of repetitive listening in the early stages in order to get a you know, to get a hold of the new language. So in that second stage, all of a sudden, what we have been listening to, even though we don't really understand it all that well, it's becoming familiar. We're going to, we're going back to something that's no longer brand new. In fact, it's familiar. Still, we understand 10, 15%. It seems like there's an endless number of words to learn, but it's a familiar environment. And, and I enjoy that challenge when I'm starting to get a bit of a sense of the language and it's familiar, familiar sounds, listening to the same sounds that I don't understand, uh, struggling with the same writing system that still presents challenges. Uh, but it's a familiar environment. I, I miss it when I'm away from it. I enjoy going back to it. Even as the language remains very unclear for me, I enjoy that second period as we're starting to turn the corner in the language. Now, the third period, which is kind of that long plateau, which for some people can be a period of frustration. For me, it's, it's not a period of frustration because I'm now in a situation where I understand, depending on the content, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% of some content. If I go back to some of my earlier sort of mini stories in Link where I've heard them so many times, I understand 70%, 80%. And every time I listen, I pick up something new of my old beginner material. And then I push myself forward into new and more difficult material. And, and I'm starting to feel that I am going to be able to understand that language, even though the language still is a bit opaque. You know, it's still not really comprehensible. But I recognize that I understand a lot more than I understood before. I almost feel as if I should understand it, but I don't fully. I understand some words, but I can't get a sense of the whole meaning. But still, it's enjoyable because I sense that I'm on the verge of reaching, you know, a level of, of comfortable comprehension. I'm not there yet, but I think I'm going to get there. And so that sort of plateau period, which is quite long, it seems there's an endless number of words to learn, it doesn't bother me because I know that if I continue with my good language learning habits, if I continue listening and reading, just as I've already progressed from where I was before, I will continue to progress. The brain is getting used to the language. The brain is already much more used to the language than it was in the previous stages. Now, the fourth stage, which is in many cases, you know, as far as people go. It's as far as I have gone in a number of my languages. It's where I understand 80% of most uh, language content uh, of movies. It can vary, but let's say 60, 70, 80%. I understand. I'm comfortable. 
If I'm in a conversation with someone, I can hold up, you know, my end of the conversation. I understand what the person is saying. I'm able to get my meaning across. Sometimes, you know, with mistakes or sometimes I can't remember words. And sometimes I don't understand some of the things that are said to me, but by and large, I am functional in the language. I met B2, call it, almost B2. I'm functional. And if I leave the language there, I've got something that I can come back to. So that's a sense of, you know, achievement, accomplishment. It's, it's for, in many languages, it's the end of the line. I made it. If I leave it and let it slide into disuse, if again, I'm in a situation where I need it, I can bring it back. So I can tick it off. This is a language that I have learned. That doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I've learned it. So that's stage four of enjoyment. Now, stage five, which is the ultimate, is when you're totally comfortable in the language. You understand the movies. You can be in any situation at any time. You cannot speak the language for two years and you come back to it and you're just about where you were when you left off. Uh, this is like a call it a C1. This is where I feel, you know, and, and I can listen to literature. I can read literature. I can do whatever I want in the language. That is sort of the ultimate. Now, you don't have to achieve that level in the language in order to enjoy the process of learning the language or to enjoy the language. I enjoy the language at the beginning. If I start another language, uh, might be Hindi or something, I'm going to enjoy that initial period of discovery. Then I'm going to enjoy that second stage when it's familiar. It's a familiar struggle, but it's a familiar environment. I don't mind that. I enjoy that. Then when I'm on that long plateau where it seems as if I'm not progressing and yet I'm understanding more and more, I feel as if I should understand. I almost understand, but I don't understand. Uh, but then the fourth stage is when I'm kind of at almost at the final stage of my journey. I'm comfortable, I'm happy, I can take it off, it's mine. But then with some languages, if I get the opportunity, I'll push myself through to that final stage of enjoyment. enjoyment. But all stages are enjoyable and enjoying the language learning process is not only the key to success, but it also should be the goal. So thank you for listening. And if you my, uh, enjoy my videos, please, uh, you know, subscribe. And I'll leave you with uh, a couple of videos that I've done on a similar subject in the past. Bye for now.